Hello, Hollywood Community Church family. These have been an incredible, almost unbelievable two and a half months. From the uncertainty of the virus to the economic struggles to the emotional battles, I don't think there is a family in our community that has not been affected. And then who would have ever imagined that we would not be able to meet together as a church family for 10 weeks? I want to commend you, though, because the great majority of you have stayed connected during this time. The great majority have watched our services online from week to week, and I can't even begin to tell you how that encourages us. Many others of you have stayed connected via Zoom, and you've joined in with life groups via Zoom. I'm especially proud of some of our senior adults who have had to learn how to use an online platform so that they could stay connected with their life group. Way to go, Hollywood Community Church. Although the journey is probably far from being over, we can begin to see light at the end of the tunnel. Many of you have written and asked me, Brian, when are we going to regather? Well, I'm excited to be able to tell you today that our regathering date is Sunday, June 14th. Now, you might listen to that and think, oh, man, Brian, I wanted us to come back sooner than that. I get it. Me too. As a matter of fact, part of my delay in sharing the date with you was trying to see if there was any way that we could regather sooner. Our delay is not because of fear. It's not because of uncertainty, uh, as if we couldn't keep you and your family safe. Quite frankly, that's not the case at all. We fully believe that we can have our services at Hollywood Community Church and do it in a way that your family is secure. The reason for our delay is a technological one. You see, we realize that when we come back together, not all of our church family is going to come back. That's okay. Some of you are gonna decide to stay home for a period of time. Maybe it's because of a pre-existing condition. Maybe you're just unsure of bringing your family out yet. That's okay. We want you to know that we don't think you're more spiritual if you come to church and less spiritual if you stay home and watch us online. Our desire though is to be able to minister well to every family in our congregation whether they are physically present in our auditorium or whether they decide to continue worshiping online for a period of time. Before the pandemic, we had never streamed before. So all of this was new for us. When the pandemic happened, we were were scrambling, trying to figure out, okay, how do we do this and what do we need to be able to do this well? By the way, I would commend our team. They've they've done an extremely good job and they've improved, it seems like, week after week. So in the beginning of the pandemic, we actually purchased new equipment, new filming equipment and streaming equipment so that we can stream our services well. Our plan was to order the equipment, receive it, learn how to use it, train a team so that when we come back together, We not only could meet together, but we also could stream the services well. Well, if you've ordered anything during this pandemic, you're aware of the fact that there's been a delay in receiving packages. And so what we ordered well more than a month ago has just come in. As a matter of fact, some of our last packages just came in today. So we still need to set that up. We need to learn how to use the equipment and we need to train a team to be able to operate the equipment. So speaking of a team, we also need volunteers. We purchased three new cameras for the auditorium and as of right now, we only have one camera operator for three cameras. We need volunteers. We're gonna stream not only the English service, but we're gonna live stream the Spanish service as well. So we're in great need of some seven to 10 volunteers that can help us, maybe operating a camera, maybe using a computer. But if you are interested in helping in our tech ministry, would you reach out to us? You can send a note to tech at ourhcc.org. And we wanna build this team just as soon as possible. 
when we do come together on Sunday, June 14th, I would remind you that it's going to look a little different. Uh, we have to abide by all of the CDC guidelines uh, in reference to social distancing, contact tracing, wearing masks, all of those things. Our auditorium is ready. As a matter of fact, we feel like that we can easily put 200 people in our auditorium and still guard all of the social distancing protocols. You might sit back and say, well, Brian, what happens if we have more than 200 people that want to come? Well, then we are ready to start a second service to be able to minister to everyone in our congregation who wants to come. Next week, you're going to receive from us a list of instructions and uh, protocols that will lay out all the different guidelines and what it's going to look like when we begin to meet together. Finally, let me say three things. First of all, stay encouraged. Even in the midst of all of this, as, as God's church has been separated, we have never ceased being the church. And as I shared with you last week, we've actually been able to minister to more people in the last two months than before. And so even though the church cannot meet together, we are still being the church. Stay encouraged. Secondly, stay connected. And so continue watch, watching our services online. This week especially, we're preaching out of Romans chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, which is the theme of the book of Romans. I think it might be the most important message in our series. Stay connected. And thirdly, pray. I mean, really pray. Pray and ask that God would build His church. We fully believe that as we come back together, we are going to see not only what God has done during these two and a half months, but we're going to see God do a great work in our midst. That can only happen through prayer. Would you pray with me? And let's ask the Holy Spirit of God to powerfully work in our midst. June 14th is going to be here before you know it. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to worship together. And I can't wait to preach to people. In the meantime, know that I love you and I miss you. I'll see you soon.